Hey everyone, welcome to this video. In this video topic, we are going to explore how to install Rocky Linux 10 on Oracle VirtualBox 7.1. Rocky Linux 10 was officially released on June 11th, 2025, and it comes with numerous improvements, including improved SE Linux and security modules, updated toolchains and software versions, and it also comes with GNOME 47 as a default desktop environment with Wayland as a default display server. So you can get more information about Rocky Linux 10 by checking out the release notes. So just head over to your browser and search for Rocky Linux 10, then open this in a different tab. So this first link here will direct you to this release notes page and you can have an overview of the latest features in Rocky Linux 10. So for example, here you can see the supported micro architecture levels. So here you can see and Rocky Linux 10 is supported for the following processor architectures, 64-bit AMD and Intel, 64-bit RISC-V. You can scroll further down and check out the notable changes in terms of the software versions, programming languages, web and database servers. So for example, you can see it comes with PHP 8.3, Python 3.12. Here you can see the performance tools and debuggers. Here you can see performance monitoring tools, for example, Copilot and Grafana and so on and so forth. All right. So now the first step in installing Rocky Linux 10 on VirtualBox is to download the ISO image. And to do so, all you need to do is to click here on this download button. So this will take you to this download page. All right. So here you have a couple of options for downloading Rocky Linux 10. You can download the DVD ISO image, the boot ISO and minimal ISO image. So in our case, I'm going to download the DVD ISO image to give us the full graphical experience. All right. So I'm going to click here on the DVD ISO tab or button. All right. So this will download this file, but I already have this already in place. So I'm going to cancel this download. All right. Now with the ISO image in place, the next step will be to create a virtual machine. So in the next step, we are going to see how to create a virtual machine with Oracle VirtualBox. So once the download of the ISO image is complete, the next step will be to create a virtual machine. So I'm going to minimize this browser here and launch the Oracle VirtualBox application. So here we go. So previously I had installed uh, Rocky Linux. All right. So now we are going to install it from the ground up. So first of all, we are going to create a virtual machine and to do so head over to this new button here and click on new. So here I'm going to provide the name of the virtual machine. So I'm going to say uh, Rocky Linux 10 like that. Okay. So this is the default folder or location for the VM. So for the ISO image, I'm going to click here and navigate all the way to the location of the virtual image. So here we have this. So I'm going to open this. Okay. So ensure you have the ISO image selected here. All right. So I'm going to leave these intact the way they are. So for the type, we have Linux for the subtype Red Hat. And here we have Red Hat 64 bits. All right. As you know, Rocky Linux is based off Red Hat. Okay. So here I'm going to click skip unattended installation. Okay. So here I'm going to set the base memory. So I'm going to set, uh, I'm going to give it four gigabytes for the processors. I'm going to give it two CPUs. All right. So here for the hard disk, I'm going to give it, uh, let's say, 50 gigs of virtual hard drive space. All right. Okay. Then I'm going to click on finish. All right. So here at the bottom, you can see we have our virtual uh, machine created. All right. So now in the next step, we are going to launch the virtual machine and start off the installation. Before you launch the virtual machine, you might need to make a few adjustments. All right. So to do so, just head over to the settings tab here. All right. So this allows you to make a few adjustments before you launch the machine. So for example, in my case, I will change the network from NAT to bridged adapter so that I can use the IP addressing of my local area network. So here I'm going to change this from NAT to bridged adapter. So this is just a preference. It's not mandatory or required to. So I'm just demonstrating what you can do in case you might want to change a few aspects here and there. You can also change the memory. All right. 
you can also make other adjustments and modifications all right so for example you can change the video memory the monitor count and so on and so forth so that's all i wanted to do okay so i'm going to use the bridge adapter which will allow me to leverage the ip address of my local area network so i'm gonna just click ok to save the changes and once that is done i'm going to click the start button so now the virtual machine is powering up and on your screen you'll see this virtual box interface and there you go you can see now we have the grab menu and by default the second option is selected and this lets you test rocky linux without installing it so since our mission is to install rocky linux i'm going to select the first option here which is install rocky linux 10.0 and hit enter so i'm going to close out this notification window to my right here so on your screen you can see the grab menu messages so this is what you typically see on uh, a hardware machine so just give it a few seconds to complete and from here the installer wizard will be launched in a few seconds so once the installer is fully launched this is the first step that will appear on your screen so this will prompt you to select the installation language by default, this is set to English, so I'm going to leave it the way it is. So feel free to select your preferred installation language. So I'm going to click continue to proceed to the next step. So here you see the installation summary and a couple of options that you need to configure before installing the system. So some options have already been pre-selected. So for example, here in the localization section, you can see that the keyboard layout has been set to US English. If you feel the need to add an additional layout, you can simply click on the plus button here and select your preferred keyboard layout. So for now, I'm just going to leave it the way it is and click on done. Same to language support. So here, this is set to English, so you can choose your preferred language support and click done. All right. So for the term and dates, this is uh, automatically configured. So the installer has automatically detected my region. So I'm in Nairobi, Kenya. All right. So here I'm just going to leave it the way it is and select done. All right. So here for the software section, just leave everything the way it is. But for the software selection here, you can select whichever environment you want. So by default, this is set to server with GUI, all right? Over to this section here on your right, you can click to add additional software, all right? So for example, uh, I can choose to add system tools here, uh, security tools, and I can also decide to, let's say, select remote desktop clients and remote management for Linux, all right? So these are not mandatory, but you can just add them if you feel like, okay? So once again, I'm just going to click done here. All right, so here, this is mandatory. So here, you're going to provide your installation partition. So here, by default, uh, this is set to automatic, and this allows the installer to automatically partition your hard drive, all right? If you're, more, if you're a more experienced user, you can select the custom option and continue to configure your system. So for now, I'm just going to leave it at automatic and click done. Okay, so for the network, this has been automatically configured. So this is the IP address of my local area network. So nothing more is needed here. So I'm just going to select done. So here over to the user settings. So here by default with Rocky Linux 10, the root account is uh, you are allowed to either select to disable the root account or to enable it. OK, so usually it's not recommended to use the system as the root user. OK, and it's only done when performing system maintenance tasks. All right. So you can choose to either enable the root account or disable. So in my case, I'm just going to enable root account and supply my password here. So I'm going to supply my password and then I'm going to confirm it and make sure it's a strong password. And then I'm going to allow the root to log in via SSH protocol by selecting this option here. And then I'm going to select done. 
So similarly, I'm going to create a regular user. So here I'm going to provide my name here and then my password. Then I'm going to confirm it. All right. And then here you can select advanced. So here you can custom or decide to provide a different path to the home directory. So by default, this is or will be your home directory. You can manually specify the user and the group IDs. All right. So for now, I'm just going to leave everything as it is and just click on save changes and uh, done. Okay. So at this point, all the options have been customized and the only thing left is to begin the installation and to do so just click on begin the installation so this will start partitioning your virtual hard drive and copying the files from the iso image onto the virtual machine so this is going to take quite some time and uh, at this point i'm going to pause this video and resume once the installation is complete the installation of Rocky Linux 10 is now complete and in my case this took roughly 15 minutes so this might differ in your case. So the only thing remaining is to reboot the system and to do that I'm simply going to click the reboot system button. Okay and this will reboot the system. Okay so as you can see the system is now rebooting. So as you can see, Rocky Linux 10 is now getting ready and in a few seconds, you'll be presented with a login page. And there you go. So now I'm going to select my account name here and provide my password. And then I'm going to hit enter to log into the system. And there you go. So here, once you've logged in, you'll get this notification and this will allow you to take a tour to the new operating system. So for now, I'm just going to skip this. And there you go. So the installation is now complete and this uh, ushers you to your new Rocky Linux 10 desktop. By default, it uses GNOME 47 with Wayland as the default display server. Okay, so this replaces Exog server. All right. So here you can just uh, have a look around, see what the new system has in store for you. Okay, so here you can launch the terminal. And uh, here you can confirm the OS version. So I'm going to run cat Etsy uh, Red Hat release. And as you can see, we are running Rocky Linux 10, also codenamed Red Quads. Okay. All right. So guys, this brings us to the end of this video topic. And in this video, I walked you through the installation of Rocky Linux 10 on Oracle VirtualBox. So that's it, guys. See you in the next video.